Good enough. Yeah, that was kind of weak. And you said cuisine. It's cuisine. I told you that last time. Oh, sorry. Whatever. <laughs> no, it's Quiznack. Quiznack. <laughs> uh, anyway, welcome back, everyone. So, howdy, howdy. So you guys know that there's no red lobster on the island, right? I know. No, that. we're getting one, aren't we? We I'm, are getting one. Uh, we are getting one. I'm not, okay. getting one. I'm not excited about it. I love red real, lobster. Real quick, though. The biscuits. Oh, sorry, one second. One second. The biscuits. <laughs> Um, we, we gotta go treasure hunting. We can skip to the end of the world and finish it if you want. I, I think it is possible to beat the boss um, with a level one ship, but yeah, they, they, they want you to explore. They want you to treasure hunt, and that's what we're gonna do. But first, I'm just gonna do the fawn mini game. All right. I, by the way, if you eat bread, yes. you have not lived until you have a red lobster biscuit. No other bread. No other biscuit is as good as the Red Lobster biscuits. Butter, garlic, and but, lemon. But, yes. wait, there's lemon in it? Yeah, a little bit. Ooh. I still have not been to Red Lobster. But, however, have you been to Dexter's Roadhouse? Because their buns are amazing. Dexter's Laboratory? The, the, the um, no, Texas Roadhouse. No, but it's only good because of the cinnamon butter. With, yeah, no, with, it's just the butter. That's what I was going to get to. It's They're only good because of the butter, but like... Yo, the, the butter. A red lobster good. biscuit with cinnamon butter? Mm, no, because it's too sweet. It's, it'd be too. No, the, the cinnamon would clash with like the garlic butteriness. Yeah, you're like, right. Like you can't have cinnamon and garlic. It's not like a. Yeah, you, you know, you're right. You're well, right. personally, I prefer um, what is it? Uh, nachos as an appetizer, even though like I just binge on it and it just you know ruins right. my appetite. And this is pretty much Space Invaders. You need a minimal of twenty nine thousand. This one was fun. I liked enjoy. I enjoyed doing this one. Yeah, this one was fun. So does the bell in the middle? It shoots all of them. But and it's it, on a cooldown. Yeah, it's on a cooldown. So it's only oh. if like they're really close. Yeah, and if one of them gets to one of the cannons, it's game over. Oh, yeah. it's not just you lose that cannon. Yeah. yeah. My strategy is just use the bell as soon as you see the big guy spawn, and if you do kill the big guy, big guy, all the little guys die. Hmm. So it is really Space Invader. Yep. Wow. Pretty Rip off! You it's know fun. It. Again, this is a lot more fun than the Mushroom 13 in Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> right, right or wrong. Oh, I'm not saying it's not fun, but it's a rip off. You still oh, somehow man. missed the pick. Up. Get him, shoot the cannons. Oh my god. I'm sorry, the, the depth perception's a little fucky. Yeah, a little bit. Go to the last cannon, quick. Just last, last cannon. Last, nah, the last cannon. You gotta <laughs> blast the last cannon. Ah, you're not gonna get him. Oh, no. The, 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 if you hit it the again, other thing's gonna spawn. Him. Oh, my God. They're getting so close. Come on. The uh, left cannon. Fuck. What are you ah, doing? No, fuck. I, this fucking guy. I fucked up. And I was pretty close. If I didn't miss that big guy, I would have got it. But you missed the big guy. And he's I clapping. He's like, yeah, guy. you tried, dumbass. <laughs> you fucking tried. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking patronize me, he you piece you of shit. He gave you a watermelon. You know he's patronizing you. <laughs> you fucking... He literally gave him a piece of his crown. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you get three watermelons if you get the max thing. Oh, that's such a good, that's such a good reward. Amazing. Yeah. And Would an ability. play Halo at some point online? Yeah, but like I told you, I have to set it up, so... <laughs> Yeah, but, like, I'm rarely downstairs, dude. Halo is Xbox exclusive, right? Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. Well, yeah, but it's reasonable, um, reasonably. Well, I mean... And PC? The original Halo was. and Halo 2 is on PC, but then they stopped doing that. Right. I don't know why. Halo 3, they were like, let's oh, do Xbox. Oh, and you could play Forge, like Halo 5 Forge on PC, but um, it's just Forge. So, you know... It's basically like one eighth of the multiplayer. The no fun though. Damn, you're one thirsty bitch. No, I drink these things so fast. I know, you should pace yourself. Mm -mm. There we go, I got him. You're gonna absorb all the caffeine at once. That's the plan. What do you got? Whoops. Whoop. 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 Let's fix that. Okay, fix the mic, fix the mic. Thank you. What is that coffee? Yeah. Iced coffee? Yes. Uh huh. Ice, ice. Bum, 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 ba da dum, bum. Come on, die! Thank you. See, yeah. I'm, I'm like, what a difference it makes. Oh, but you remember though, we did play Halo 5 a little bit, and um, we worked on a Forge map together, I think. Did we? Or did we try that? Because I know I tried that. I think it I was had it downloaded. A ch a, an attempt. It was an attempt, and we might have tried to connect, Come on. but I don't. Bro, what are you doing? It, it jumped I got the right, max score. Oh, all right. We'll it still. jumped right over the cannon. Yeah, it was like, I don't even want this cannon. 
Yeah, see, he's doing his super happy dance, and now I'm gonna get three watermelons and an ability. Focus siphon. Mm. Okay, now we you can were go wrong. Try you got them in the thing. opposite order. Was that? You got them in the opposite order. You were incorrect. You said I'm gonna get three watermelons and, a f and an ability, and it was an ability, and then three watermelons. Jason. Yeah. You're a picky Patrick. Sometimes. Sometimes. Did, did anyone ever tell you that that you are? This Indeed. is the first time that I'm hearing the term Picky Patrick. No, it's not. I've called you that at the at the finale of Kingdom Hearts 1. Shows how much you remember of our times. All right, well, you're a show Picky me the, Pickle. Show me the footage. Picky Pickle. Because it's like, okay, this is a different design choice. You than are what a I, Picky Patrick. I'm That's not, what you are. I'm, well, you're but a, a Picky Patrick. There. He's really going to look for it. Damn. Wow. No, I know exactly where it is. Wow, oh, okay. all right. Okay. Because I have a very straight. I, I remember the most useless shit. <laughs> you do. You do. It's like 90% of Such his brain the power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I remember the time that you called me a picky Patrick. Oh, yeah? Well, it's two plus two. Five! Wait! No, it's fish! Aha! I got it! Well, actually, fish has four letters, so technically well, you would be wrong. Well, Dr. Dr. Crocker, Mr. Crocker said two plus two equals fish. It does. No, no, no. He said that a fairy can make two plus two equal fish. But oh. in his time reality, when he kidnapped Wanda and the fairy odd parents, he then changed shit out. Oh, damn it. Oh, been, my God. I can't so believe long. that I remember that. I, I remember it, too. I remember it, too. Let's set sail! Okay. Oh, my God. This is, uh, this is funny. I'm, I'm watching, um, I'm trying to catch up with Critical Role, and for those who don't know, I know you two, I explained it to you two. I might have explained it on mic or whatever, but for whoever doesn't know, it's a bunch of voice actors who play Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm trying to catch up. There's like 70 plus episodes, and I'm on episode 35, I think? I assume this is something you can and just run in the background. Yeah, yeah, they're four hour long mm -hmm. episodes, so I listen to them when I'm at work and stuff. But the episode I'm on, they're, um, so spoilers for episode, like, 35, Critical Role. Um, they, they pretty much just stole a ship. <laughs> but they stole it from bandits, and now they're, they hi hired a crew to, like, pilot, like, to, you know, sail the ship and everything. And it's so, really funny. So that pod, it, it's a podcast or a show? Uh, it, it's, um, so. it's a street, like, they stream themselves, like, it's live it's every stream. Thursday, and they... And they play Dungeons the, and Dragons? Yeah, and the week after, they release a podcast, and it's, I also, I just watch it on YouTube, like, I just have YouTube open on my phone, because I don't download the podcast. <laughs> But it's really fun, and if you like Dungeons are you, and Dragons... Are you sailing to Shipwreck Cove, or are you actually exploring? I'm exploring. Oh, we, okay. we can skip to the end of the game if we wanted, no, 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 but... No, explore, because I want to I talk... mean, not to the end of the game, the end of the world. Do the game! I, I, no, no, no. Do the thing, because I want to talk about something really funny. Yeah, but where I was getting at was, I think it's really funny, because in, in this uh, episode that I'm watching, they stole the ship, and then they had a circle around the port town, and... Uh, dock at, a, at another port in the same town because they were like, wait, we can't sail this ship with only six people because it's like a decent sized ship. So yeah, they we had a conversation a... about that. Huh? We had a conversation about that, didn't we? I think we did, yeah. Yeah. But they, they, the they figured that out and they had to go hire a crew and which leads me back to probably our previous conversation where it's Sora, Donald, Goofy, and Jack and they're, well, not even Jack anymore. Sora, Donald, and Goofy piloting this giant ship. I'm just like... With what, Tia Dama. What, how are they doing this? No, well, no, Tia Dama, she, she's not with us. She's, she's with, not um, helping them. Yeah, no, yeah. but she was the fake Jack. Yeah. That was well, her, well, no, her magic. Her, her crabs were the... Yeah, but it, it's her. She's no, a fucking, it wasn't. She's a goddess, She dude. controls the crabs. She can be wherever the fuck she wants. Anywho, moving on. So, hilarious story. The, the cruelty and the ingenuity of D&D &D players. It's fucking amazing, right? Yeah. Sorry. This DM was talking about how he wanted to uh, create a sense of urgency for his party. So he created a werewolf that hunts the players down every now and then and kind of keeps them on the move, right? You told me about this. Uh, no, it's a story that I read. I, don't, I didn't well, tell I, you about it. Well, you might have told me about the story, because unless I read it too. You but might continue. have read it too, but for the sake of Andrew in the audience, right. I yes. on the story. Go, well, yes. I, yeah. So okay. he made the werewolf like level 18, and the players were about level three to five. So it's way above their level, right? All right. And he wanted to do this in order to, like I said, give a sense of urgency. And then at the end of the campaign, finally kill this werewolf that's been hunting them. And he gave this werewolf insane regeneration abilities, right? So they would do like a whole round of damage and then he would just regenerate it all, right? 
So, um, one time, while they were leaving a town, they saw the werewolf was attacking a couple guards and travelers, and it was slaughtering them, right? Yeah. So they're like, oh shit, let's go help. So they go to fight the, the werewolf and the guy's like, you're not supposed to fight it. And he's like, we'll do what we want. And he's like, all right. So they beat on it a couple times and it just heals all its wounds. And then they're like, oh shit, you know, what do we do? And the DM suggests, well, you could run. And then one guy. If you're a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then one guy decides to sacrifice himself. So he runs for it and, you know, they get into the role play slash battle and the werewolf bites his arm, right? And is he going to turn into a werewolf? No. And the guy lets his arm get eaten. He just straight up lets it happen. And then he's like, "You've lost your arm. What do you do?" And he's like, "I activate." And I don't remember what the what the item was called, so I'll just describe it. It's basically a branch that when they activate it, it will grow a tree with branches on it so that they can use it to climb places or if they need wood. And this branch just continuously grows and regenerates when they need it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he says, I activate this item. And he's like, okay, um, where do you activate it? He's like, uh, how do you activate it? He's like, well, it's in my hand, isn't it? And he's like, yeah, but the hand is in the werewolf. So he activates the tree branch mm -hmm. and a tree. Wait, but how could his brain send the message to his arm to? It's you it's know, it, I was just most about items. That. Most items are used telepathically in uh, D and D. Like you can just will and especially if, if you, it's magical. If you attune, like what, for most magic items, you need to attune to. Okay. So to attune with a magic item, so say like you're, uh, it's a magic shirt that gives you more defense. You put the shirt on and you spend X amount of hours with it and the shirt forms to your size and that magic item is now attuned to you. It's like, it, it kind of, like Jason it's said, it, ha it has a bond to you. So okay. he must have did that with this item. Yeah. So, so he okay. activates it. I guess it. he could activate it through range because if you're thinking about it, it can't activate in his hand. Yeah. Quite literally, because if he takes the stick and is like, I want a tree here, it would just blast his hand off, you know? Right. So he would have to throw it somewhere and be like, stick, activate. Exactly. So that's Wait, exactly what happened. Real quick, before you go back to your sto story, um, two things. One, I'm visiting the islands um, that have emblems and that have this. There's, there's no emblems on this island, but this is still important because that's not it. That's not it. That's it. Your Calcum Plus. You find it on one of the islands here. What? what? What was it? I was drinking the coffee. I, I couldn't say. Or a Calcum, Calcum plus. plus. No, but like, was it from a chest? From, from, yes. from the chest, yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah. Hey, we, we, that we, you we, just we. randomly find on one of these islands. So I'm only visiting islands that... The, the island that had this. There's no other emblems on here. And islands that have emblems. And then we're gonna... But that's a long way since then. So we're just gonna, you know... Level up the ship and... <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Continue. So... He activates this item, okay. and a tree starts growing inside the werewolf, and it punctures through the werewolf, obviously, because it's a tree, and it's growing through him. But the werewolf's regeneration abilities are activating, so the regeneration keeps the werewolf alive, but the tree keeps it from moving. So they literally left the werewolf with a tree growing out of it, stuck in this perpetual hell of constantly regenerating and nice. constantly having a tree grow through it. So he got, so the DM like looked at his party and he's like, I need to reconsider my options. <laughs> and I gotta say, there are some really creative players when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons. I, I have a story, if, if you guys don't mind. Hold up, let me just add really quick. Yeah. For example- And I have a story after AJ story. Well, that's fine. So, we'll just cue our stories. Yeah, yes, exactly. exactly. Story time. So, just like as a real D &D quick- story time. Back when go. me and uh, Andrew played D uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I was a dwarf barbarian, <laughs> and we got to a point where we were in the Underdark and we had to cross a chasm. Ooh. So what Ooh. we did was we tied a rope to my sword and I used my massive strength to throw my sword across the chasm and it embedded in the stone because I was so strong. Huh. And then we used the rope to uh, climb across. Now I wanted, cool. I remember that and I remember wanting to use um, my ability called magic hand to to float the uh, the rope to oh, the other side. Hand, yeah. yeah, but cause I was a mage or I, I think I was a necromancer actually. But anyway, uh, it, it, it didn't work because the range and I w because it wasn't um, close enough and I was disappointed because I wanted to say 
This looks like a magic hand job. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It was a clever pun, but unfortunately- I couldn't work. utilize it. Nope. No. But it was clever. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that clever because I couldn't fucking use it. Anywho, well, next in the queue, AJ. First off, I wonder if I talk into my water bottle, the mic would pick it up. Yes, it would. It's not a water bottle. It, it can be a water bottle. If you put water in it, Don't make me put water in it. Because I will. No, I don't want your water. I didn't even touch it yet. So anyway, back to the my story. Yeah. Well, not back to. We're starting my story now. Okay. So I was DMing my friends, and they got into this town, essentially. They heard crying, so they went to go investigate the crying. It was a ha it, The crying was coming from a house that seemed to be boarded up. They didn't try opening the door. They kicked the door in and essentially broke into and searched this house for a, for crying. And when they went upstairs, they found a crying woman holding onto a doll. And none of them thought, oh no, what happened? You know, let's, let's go console the old lady crying. This isn't the one with the buns and thighs guy, is it? No, no, this is different. I'm DMing this one. Oh, oh okay. And, and, and the lady's crying right. and... They're supposed to, well, not supposed to, because, you know, you, you do not going to tell, you know, they do what they want. But this is where it's funny. It, it's supposed, she's supposed to respond to, like, generous and caring. Uh, those are her, like, reaction triggers. Like, they're supposed to be like, oh, are you okay? Why are you crying? Is there anything I can do to help? Like something no. that heroes would ask. No, that's not what happened. <laughs> they rushed in. My girlfriend, who's playing a kobold barbarian, walks up to this lady and just goes, Why are you crying? Stop crying! And, like, screams at it. <laughs> oh my god! And it's... she, like, and she just, like, cowers in fear. This woman's crying. And then now Cleric, who I thought was the most sane of the group, uses a spell called Thaumaturgy to make his voice boom and just booms his voice. <laughs> stop crying! And they're all yelling at this lady what to stop fuck? crying. Stop being a bitch! And I'm just like, all right, well, she's upstairs. She can't like run away or anything. This is this is ridiculous. They're they're intimidating this crying lady and she's just <laughs> She, she lost her, like, her daughter right away. And I'm just like, what is she going to do? So I make her run down the stairs. And uh, she she runs down the stairs. And then our other, the other party member, the ranger, runs up to her, snatches the, sees that she has a doll. They, they interrogate her and get the information out that her daughter ran away. So the ranger snatches the doll from the old lady and is like, You'll get this back when we find your daughter. And like, I'm what just like, what? what? I'm like, what are you doing to this poor old lady? And I'm, just, it's, it's a mess. But somehow it works because he's a ranger and he can, I, I forgot what it's called. I haven't played a ranger in a while, but they rangers have this tracking ability where like if they have a piece of, you know, if like they have a piece of clothing from like a person, they can track where yeah, that but person the way is. He did but it. he snatched it from her and they were trying to question her, like, where was your daughter last seen? What does she look like? Yada, yada, yada. But not gently. They were like, what's your daughter look like? You need to tell me what she looks like now. Where was she last? And they're like, like I said, they're interrogating this lady. Did they put a car battery so, after her nipples? No. Because I would have done that. That's torture. <laughs> they, they're not, no, they didn't torture okay, her. First of all, there's no car battery in Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, but you know, okay, fine. We'll attach wires and if they have a mage or something, I'll just use electricity to like charge it. Dude, so, you should never ever play D&D again. You are the worst kind of God. hero. The worst kind of adventurer. So, I don't know I, I don't know how to play this old lady because I was prepared for them to be like oh no poor little old lady <laughs> now because because she was supposed to give them information but she's just sc scared she's hysterical crying and this group of people kick down her door These and monsters. just start screaming at her and I'm just like well, what do I do like at me as, as the DM like how do I play this old lady and so I just do this really, really ugly cry, and <laughs> I'm just making her bawl her eyes out, like, giving one-word answers, and I give them enough information, and I'm just like, and, and they just leave her. They don't even fix her door, they just leave her there, and I'm just like, Listen, what? if these were the people looking for my daughter, I would already start making funeral arrangements. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I just be like, oh, so you're gonna kill her? Like yeah. you're not gonna save her, you're gonna kill her. <laughs> yeah. By the way, 
Looking at this scene, I just remembered, Andrew, you love seafood, but you've never been to Red Lobster. No. Is there one on the island? There will be in time. Okay, then. Like, can you really then be surprised that I did, never went But there's there? also Red Lobsters all over the place in Jersey. Okay, how often am I in Jersey? I don't know. Not often. How, how much do you like seafood, though? I mean, I, 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 I like it, but like... So you're telling me that you wouldn't go to a Red Lobster and have some seafood? Well, how far away is it? I don't know, 20, 30 minutes at most? Well, I, I would go to Roland Roaster, which is in Brooklyn. You, so you'd go to Brooklyn? <laughs> you, he'd Bro go to Brooklyn You for, don't understand. For you Roaster. can't... They have this melted cheese on the burgers that you can't get anywhere else. Okay, but we're talking... He's Well, he's talking seafood. Okay, seafood, seafood but Roland like Red Lobster, seafood. Red Lobster is not the only place that has seafood. He's also true. You are That's literally you, okay, but it, it literally is like ninety five percent seafood. I usually get like popcorn chicken or something. I mean, it's yeah, it's not, it's not that. Wait, you mean popcorn shrimp? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Popcorn chicken's good though. I've never had popcorn chicken. It's popcorn just literal shrimp. chicken nuggets, but like in balls. So I, it's just, yeah. it's literally just chicken nuggets. Yeah, it's just chicken nuggets. No, no, no. You know what I had at a restaurant once? Mozzarella planks. It's like mozzarella sticks, except they're like rectangles. So they're much bigger. So TGI and Friday's then, mozzarella sticks. And then there's a place that has mozzarella coins. Oh, those Which are is good. like those basically giant pucks of mozzarella. I've, I've been to a place that did that and they put like, put like the um, <laughs> prosciutto on it. Like, so it's like the prosciutto and the mozzarella, and oh. then they fry it, and then they give you the- Oh, it's so good. I, actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about seafood, there is a seafood restaurant here on the oh, island. We have fucking real. The, Mar the Mariana Cafe. Yes, I've been there before. Marina. Oh, Marina. I, 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 Marina. Marina. Sorry. I, I've been there before. It's good. Okay. All right, good. At least I didn't you know there were seafood. I thought it was well, just an Italian. Well, actually, you know what's it's funny is that there's cafe. the there's the Marina Cafe, and then literally like one street down is another Marina Cafe. It's called something different, huh. but it's like it's essentially the same there thing. It's it like, is. hey, we're ri literally right by Ooh. the water, and we make seafood. You yeah. know, there's also Hook and Reel, but I, I heard Hook and Reel is pretty good. I haven't Where been is there it? yet. It's by my. It's by uh, Off Island, though. For for. I mean, Marina Cafe is off island, so I think all right. the seafood is well, yeah, all the seafood places right are by the water. Island. I wouldn't be surprised if they make Red Lobster right off island. Yeah, you're right. They probably will. They probably will. Yeah. Or or maybe they'll make it in the mall. Uh, oh, you're right. You're right, because they closed down Red Robin, and I'm still fucking pissed about that. So that might be uh, Red Lobster. I had a friend of mine that worked at Red Robin. Now he works at Buffalo Wild Wings. Does he know why they closed? Because he I'm pissed I, he, that Applebee's is still standing. He told me, and I don't remember. Shit. Well, I would like to know. So if you talk to him and you remember me, please let me know. Uh, yeah, we Buffalo just, Wild Wings is good. We, just, we, we saw the Spider-Man movie with him. Ooh. And then I went to Buffalo Wild Wings two days later and I saw him. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me that. I literally he just, just did. Like, I just did, as in... Like, this is the first time we've spoken since Spider-Man. <laughs> no, we did, did we, we, we did Pokemon Let's Go. Oh, you're right. I don't know, it kind of didn't cross my mind. You then. lying it, thought. It didn't cross my mind. You're a liar, Jason. What, I'm gonna remember literally everything I want to tell you? I remember calling you a picky Patrick, Jason. Oh my no. god. I think I'm the only one who's taking this friendship seriously, Jason. 